it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Roxy's weekly challenge number 29 and it is faux letter ephemera. So hashtag Roxy's weekly challenge and hashtag 31 days of August or no <laughs> hashtag 31 days of ephemera. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, um, so I have Rachel's, uh, I think it's Antique Letters Kit 1, and I have printed this out double-sided. I took off my uh, borderless print because my borderless won't do double-sided uh, because it can't grab onto the paper. Um, and I think it actually printed well because um, I've got a seam there and the seam pretty much lines up. So... Um, I'm not really sure how to go about this. Um, I've watched Rachel's video a couple of times, but she is way better at figuring out these folds than I am. Um, I haven't really been around any of this old. I'm just going to tear these out to start with. And we'll go from there. Now this is going to be, let's try it this way. Let's try it this way. And that way we have the white gone and we have a little bit of a rougher edge and we'll wrinkle them up if we need to. We want them to look um, aged. I mean they already look aged. This one ha is on a uh, looks like a grid paper. That's why it's so nice and straight. Ah. I'm not good at tearing out either. This is a little bit of a thin edge. So I have to, I don't want to cut off that little, um, I'm just going to cut that piece because if I tear it, it's not going to be right. All right. And I guess I can tear off a little bit extra. It's not going to hurt. As long as I'm not covering up the words, I think we'll be okay. Um, I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch. There we go. Alright, same thing here. Quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch is a little, a little too, too thin. So, and then that should be, yep, looks good on that side. So, let's ink this up a little bit. I'm using my walnut stain oxide. Oh yeah, that torn edge really takes the ink really well. And I love that this looks like you can see through. Um, these, this, this kit right here, I was just thinking as I was printing these papers out, um, this would look really cool turned into like a vellum. Um, especially with the double sided, you'd be able to see the letters, they'd kind of overlap. I don't know, I just thought it would look, look cool, so I may have to try that uh, in a later video but for right now we are doing faux antique letters I'm gonna clip oh, nope I'm gonna clip that off faux antique letters uh, to put in our junk journals now you could use these for anything I'm assuming you could use them for a pocket you could use them for um, <clears throat> just stuffing in a pocket and I'm gonna go ahead and fold on that that line right there and I think yeah that's pretty darn good so yeah folded right on the line I'll put a little bit of ink there so that's fun yes unfortunately my family never kept anything like this I I would love to have you know vintage letters okay so that looks cool and I really I really like the um, I really like the color of this this one now this um, 
this kit had a whole bunch of letters in it. I want to say, it, uh, I think there were like 20-something, 20 23 pieces maybe. Uh, some of them actually have the letter front, and I didn't print out any of those. Um, so I am going to fold this this way. And then I think... Now this doesn't, because it doesn't, none of these have that on there that I did. None of them have the, oh, this one does. Okay, let's do this one next. Um, I think I'm just going to fold this. Now normally, if I remember correctly, these are kind of folded in thirds and then tucked inside each other. Um, and then they would either tie them with a string or they might use some kind of a, of a seal. I'm just going to do that like this and that'll be nice to tuck somewhere. And because it's so light on this side, you can still write on that. So I think that's perfect. I'm not going to add anything to it. I like it just the way it is. So let's, um, I'd like to do three of these if we have time. So let's, let's tear this one out. Tear that piece. I'm really kind of impressed myself that I was able to figure out how to get it uh, double sided to line up because I've had issues with that in the past. So this one I'm going to do like 316. So no, that's going to have to go a quarter of an inch. Let's see, we'll try it. We'll try it at 3 16 and if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. Yeah. The secret is holding onto that ruler. Did I get all four sides? Yeah. There's a little bit there, but I think that might be torn paper or whatever, I can ink it. So, um, and these, this one has the creases as well that look like they line up, so I'm excited about that. Um, I know, it's this, oh, I didn't do this edge, that's why. We didn't do this edge. Or if I did, I did it on the other side, not this side. There we go. All right, so, yes. Let's just ink this up. And I love that this little uh, spot here with this is probably a wax seal um, comes through on the other side of the paper. It's really cool. Some of the, and also the postal marks are coming through. So that's pretty cool. Well, and you know what? I said, you know, my my family threw everything out nobody kept anything but that was the that's what ephemera is ephemera are things from the past that were meant to be kept just for the moment like receipts or um, you know letters I mean I've got oh man so many regrets over the letters that I used to get and didn't keep because you know you just never it never occurred to you that you wouldn't see these people again or hear from them again or you know life goes on and people grow apart and um, yeah it's um I, th I think we miss out when we don't take the time to actually just sit down and write a note we, we are a little spoiled with our technology, which is great. There's nothing wrong with technology, um, but I think we miss the boat sometimes. So this is the outside. I'm going to fold this here. Make sure I got it lined up there. Okay, looks right. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Rachel, for these really cool uh, digitals. Uh, oh, I want to clarify, 
Rachel did not give me these digitals. <laughs> I purchased these, but I'm saying thank you to Rachel for making them because I have learned as much as I love making digitals, I am not as good as everyone else and I think I'm going to hang up my hat because it is very time consuming and um, there's so many other people that are so great at it that I want to buy their stuff. I don't want to use my own stuff, so <laughs> how sad is that? Well, I use it, but I get bored quickly, so I'll use it once or twice, and then I'm 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 ready to move on. So, oh, and my other kit that I was working on, my uh, um, marigolds kit, I tried to print it, and it just it's too uh, too too dark. It's not. I'm I'm having difficult figuring out how to get it. The screen is beautiful. When I print it, it seems to be just so much green and blue that it's overwhelming. So I kind of put it on hold for a while and I'll come back and revisit it later because um, it's not, I'm not happy with it. I think I want a little bit more ink right here. Doesn't that look cool, guys? It really does look like, I'm just going to. I know, put a little bit of ink there. I love that. Okay, so let's figure out how this would be folded. It would go this way, number one. And you got to remember the time. Okay, there's some creases here. I'm seeing so maybe I'll link, line those up a little bit better um, paper was hard to come by so um, people would use uh, every inch of it and recycle this is really cool looking at the stamp doesn't have a date that I can tell oh 69 so not super old. Um, of course, that could be 1869. I don't think they did those codes in there at that time. But all right, so let's see. There's a line here. So this probably tucks inside as well. And then um, let's see. There we go. Or maybe that, no, because this is on the outside, so that would have gotten. And this pulled off of that. That's why that spot is there. Okay, so there we go. That looks good. What do you think? I'm going to get some more ink on it. So that's fun. I have to put one of these in my idea book so remind me to use them so I've got these two I am gonna ink that outside too all right so let's tear out this one I like the writing on this one it's fabulous so it doesn't necessarily have because I can't read it I don't know is this the is this where it's going um, possibly I'm not sure. I may just fold this one up and and uh, use it as an insert. So and I am getting better at the paper tearing. Yay. All right, so this one has plenty of room, so I can go right up against the edge. Let's see how we did on that side. Oh, so close. So close. All right, let's see if we can. Am I going to take off the writing, though? Because I don't want to do that. I'm just going to see if I can take off just a smidge of this one. Um, 
I'm gonna try and do an eighth again. If I push harder, there we go, on my ruler. <laughs> and then this one, I have plenty of room over here. Oh, too fast. That's okay. It's okay. We will. We will just fix that. Yeah, it's torn down here too, so. Um. This paper that I printed this on is 24, I believe, pound paper from Walmart, the pen and gear, that's what I buy. Um, nothing fancy because mostly everything I do is um, vintage, so I don't see any reason to buy any fancy paper. Um, I don't like the 20 pound because it disintegrates when I copy dye. It doesn't seem to be as sturdy. Um, so the 24 or the 28, depending, they don't always have the, the... I was buying 32, and before COVID, they had a bunch of different... They don't have those anymore. So the 24, I find, works pretty well. All right, so what do we want to do with this one? Um, I think it will fold it up this way. I don't really see any other crease marks on this one. And I'm going to say uh, this looks like Margarita, Giovanni, Cordini, Cor Cordini. Um, th these look like names. So I'm thinking I want this on the outside. Let me... Um, let me do both of these sides here. So, and then that will be a little skinny little kind of place to tuck something. Um, probably don't need it that high. Maybe here? There we go. And then this would fold inside here. Like so, perhaps. It's not perfect, but it'll work. There we go. So I am not going to decorate these anymore. I think, personally, I like that they kind of speak for themselves. I really, I really do. Um, I like it. I love how that... Uh, double-sided image makes it look like that the words have bled through um, I love that this is purple <laughs> and uh, of course I love that letter so um, I think I'm gonna leave them at that and uh, move on to the next challenge so one of these is gonna go in my idea book and the other two will go in my stash and I don't have a divider for uh, letters so I'm going to have to make some more letters. I probably should start a list of, of new dividers that I need, but uh, I'll probably stick these in my journal cards for a moment because there is journaling space in here. Although my journaling cards take up about this much room now, so I really need to start using some of those. So there'll be a couple of uh, eclectic journals coming up in September. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, by the way, everything is in the description box as usual. Bye now.